Hey everybody, Coach Ethan here. If you're doing semi-private and you're thinking about how to progress your exercises, or if you feel like you have been doing the same weight, the same reps, the same sets, we're just gonna talk about making and setting goals while you exercise. So when you look at your app, we've got the little clock symbol in the bottom. It looks like a little L with a backwards time going on. We're gonna click on that. You'll look at the exercise if you've done it in the past. And if you've done it in the past and you have a similar rep scheme, so you're within two to three reps of that movement. We're gonna to try to add a rep, or we're gonna to try to add some weight, or we can add a set if it feels good, or if you don't feel like you've been challenged by the end of the workout. So if you're doing a dumbbell bench press for the third week of your exercise set or your session, and last time and the time before and the time before you did 15 pounds every time, for the fourth week, let's try to go to 20 pounds or 25 pounds, or if you don't want to add weight, we can add two or three reps to every exercise and we can add them on our app, or you could add a set to the end if it is feeling like at the end I want to push. This is also a goal that we can win every time we come into the gym. So when I look at my exercises, I go back in time, maybe last year I did an exercise or last month I did an exercise and I'm doing it again, I'm going to try to either add reps add weight or add sets to my movement so that every time I'm in the gym, I am accomplishing uh, or beating a goal that I had in the past or beating an exercise or movement that I had. So I'm always progressing forward, always stimulating the muscle, always stimulating the nervous system and always keeping everything moving. Uh, if you ever have any questions about if I should add a set or weight or reps, grab a coach, make sure your form's good and then get moving, win some goals here.